what is up everyone? We are going to do something a little bit different today. I hope you all enjoyed the top 10 I put out on Monday and more of me now. I did promise you at the end of the top 10 that I would be doing a series of unboxing videos. Here we are. <laughs> Christmas is just around the corner and I've reached out to a load of our partners and I've said to them, look, we need a bit of Christmas joy. Is there any chance you would be willing to send some stuff over for us to try? And here we are. <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. So let's see what's in the box. Before getting fully into it, I do want to give a massive shout out to Real Diving, who are the uh, team over in Sweden who sent this over. You can see the logo right there, Real Diving. Bow, there it is. If you like what I'm about to unbox now, what I really encourage you guys to do is go to the link that is displayed right here now. You can also find the link above right here and also the link in the description to Real Diving's website. I really am quite excited to see what we've got here. So without further ado, let's get into it. Box cutter. Pretty cool. We got fins. <clears throat> oh. Have a look. First glance, I am really, really excited by these. They've got that wonderful new smell <laughs> when you take something out. Now these are made from shark fin, hopefully you can see the logo there. I imagine a lot of people are asking why these instead of Scooper Project fins, which are of course the industry standard. Well, this is the question that I asked Johan, the owner of Real Diving, when we originally discussing doing a little product demo and review of these bad boys. They're, as we used to say in Thailand, same same but different to the jet fins. The most notable thing I notice is that hole that you get at the top of the jet fins, that's gone, that's not here. They are pretty much formulaic in shape, exactly the same mold as the jet fin. You can see on the back they've got the ridge here, they've got the little valve dumps there which the water passes through just like a whale tail when you push down, they've got the holes just like the jet fins. I do notice that the foot pocket seems a little bit different to the, uh, to the jet fin. I do have to say I do very much like the logo on the front here, I'm not gonna lie. What I also think is cool is that they actually come standard with spring straps. You can see there, these are springs. So that's awesome that these come as a standard with a spring. I did ask Johan if you can uh, fit these with the Halcyon springs, you know, just for that added level of amazing safety. Uh, he assured me you can, so if you do get these and you do want to swap out uh, maybe the Halcyon spring with the existing string, you can do so. I do want to talk about the, the hole at the top though, because I asked him, why did that happen? Why do we have a hole at the top of the Scuba Pro jet fin? Now what he told me is when he was talking to uh, one of the heads of Scuba Pro at the boat show, apparently the military asked for them, because the military liked to, uh, this is what I've been told, clip their D-rings through the fin so they can hook them onto their sides while they're doing all of their Navy stuff, shooting guns and things like that. <laughs> it's a bit weird that that's become a kind of standardization for the entire diving industry when realistically I think divers probably do a lot more diving on a daily basis with things like this. But the other thing to take note of is that it's very hard to find a company that molds rubber of this nature now in Europe. So these are made actually in Taiwan. Um, now what I've been told also that's really cool, they are pretty much the same weight as the jet fin. So that you're looking at about 1.3 kilograms per fin. So you do still have, I guess, that travel difficulty of uh, transporting these bad boys around that hasn't been removed. I guess a quick way to fix that for me would this is what I'm going to do when I go to Mexico in a few weeks is I'm literally going to clip a carabiner onto then clip it onto uh, my backpack. Yes, you look like an idiot in the airport, but you don't pay the additional baggage fees. So I really like the look of these. They, I mean, if you like the look of the Scuba Pro jet fins, realistically, there's no reason why you won't like the look of these guys here. They're really sturdy, they're the same rubber, really rigid and solid. They do come as a standard with a spring, as I said. I am interested to see how the foot pocket works. But, 
For that, what I would say is you need to be following me at Nico Lira on Instagram, where I am going to be doing all sorts of uh, sort of daily vlogs while I'm in Mexico. I will do my best to upload a sort of immediate feedback video while I'm out there, but that may be tough. That may have to wait till I'm back. Um, but I am going to be testing these out in a few weeks. And I'll give you guys, the GUI community, a full review of these, of how they handle once I'm back. So, once again, if you are interested in these, even before hearing my review, what I really suggest you do is, once again, go to the link uh, just above me here, to Real Diving, the link also displayed right here and down in the description. Yeah, so check out Real Diving and uh, get yourself a pair of shark fins for Christmas, because these bad boys are cool. Alternatively, Wait for my review coming next month once I'm back from Mexico. So thank you very much to Real Diving. Thank you so much for sending these two. I can't wait to get in the water with them. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay cool, safe diving.